Hello, hello. Good evening. Uh, I've had trouble recording this already. <laughs> I don't know what's up. But, uh, good evening. Um, as you can probably tell, um, I've done some things. Maybe a little too many things. I went down that hole just over yonder and, uh, went a little too deep and found, like, an abandoned base. And I... I will go down there just to show off what I found. Just give me two moments. And we'll get right over there. But, uh... I've admittedly gone a little too much. Because, uh... Yeah. I've got that now. <laughs> I have myself a little Cyclops. And it's uh, pretty cool with its features. I'll, I'll show it off once I go down the hole. Okay, here we are. It's an abandoned base down here. And obviously, it didn't hold up. <laughs> But, um, I've explored it head to toe, and thankfully I do know I did miss one thing because I tried recording here moments ago, and it crashed horribly. But, um, basically it's just a base that got messed up. It's just filled with sea life, an abandoned water filtration system, so we've got some stuff to work on with that. But, um... I do know I did miss this one file here. Integrating new PDA data. Loud as ever. Yeah. But pretty cool place. Oh. Moonpool fragment. Ooh. Some spare titanium, I guess. Oh, I can scan this. Cool. Anyways. I'm gonna head on back, and we'll show off the Cyclops a bit. And I'll just, uh, save. Be safe. Such a cool system. <laughs> oh, I can just access the upgrades directly. Ooh. Okay. But anyways, this is like the main floor of the Cyclops. You've got the command deck here. And you can close a lot of the doors and stuff. It's pretty cool. Here's the engine with its power cells. I've already used a shocking amount of power, but there is an upgrade to add, like, a thermal charger. So, I will be looking into that. Apparently, this thing's only good for 500 meters, but that shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, we'll definitely need a lot of stuff to make it work. But, um, in due time. Here's the lower deck. There's our lovely sea moth. And then we've got our storage compartments, which we'll be, we will be hoarding with that. But yeah. I'm gonna take this little thingy over to that weird thingy I like. It's basically where I searched for the, uh, moon pool fragments and Cyclops parts. But, uh, yeah. I think we'll just head over there and just explore a bit. I do like how this thing is bulky to maneuver. Like, it's, it's very clearly a actual submarine. <laughs> and fun fact, kind of based off the, uh, Titan... In case you wanted that information. 
Like, you, you can just see it in that little sonar display. <laughs> okay, that should be a good spot to stop. Engine powering down. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, wow, it gets dark in here when you turn them off. Alright, we'll be exiting through the sea moth. All systems online. Kind of terrifying to do it from that high, but nonetheless, nonetheless, very, very cool. You you can I'm actually suit I'm like really invested in this game. I mean considering like what? How many consist- well, repeat episodes of just- just Subnautica? Like, what? Uh, this is the fourth one. It's kinda cool. I never thought I'd be, like, making stuff like this. Like, I knew I wanted to try the- the live streaming. But recording stuff is fun, too. Yep, here's our little beacon. And it's more alien shit. I kind of held off on exploring this for a reason, of course. Huh? It's another gate. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's, like, a fast travel system with these things. I mean, it, it would make sense. I don't see, like, a very obvious, like, tablet or anything. Okay. Anyways. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm gonna head us. Well, I'm gonna head back. And I do need to consider where to go. Because obviously, I can go 500 meters down now. That's that's big. But I'm I'm worried what that also entails. This whole place is super interesting. Oh, right. I do remember, though, I do have... I do finally have a major goal. And it was... It was that, uh... That message, the sandwich message. Because the, uh... Aurora... Or, not the Aurora. It, was it the Aurora? I can't remember. But, um... Essentially, um, there's a seek, there's like a black box there, and it's got the code for something to get us off the planet. We have to meet them halfway, so that will be an interesting challenge. Anyways, I'm gonna head us back. Oh yeah, there was also that signal for proposed Degassi habitat. And that's like the little base we found. What did I just hit? Like I hit something, right? Or was it just the sound of me breaking through? Hmm. What the hell was that? Like, seriously.
Was it that fish? Did I did I hit like a tiny fish that hard or something? I guess we can make our way to the uh, the gassy habitat, though. Because it's actually going to be difficult to get to the, um... The main wreck. Because I will admit, I did have a, uh... A co-worker, surprisingly, kind of spoiled it a bit. But apparently there's a ton of, like, leviathans over there. So... I, I do have that to watch out for. Anyways, Welcome aboard, Captain. I guess I can show off my little, my little crib. Obviously, like, I found a lot of stuff. Not much down here yet. But, um, it's home. But, like, this is, this is, like, the main attraction. I've got a bed, I've got a bench, I've got a counter with nothing on it. Like, it's cozy. I guess if I get, like, plants from the surface, I can put them down here. Oh, yeah. And our little aquarium. There's always something making noises, and I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways. Hmm. There we go. I'm also gonna get rid of these sea glide because I've noticed my swimming pace is identical. So that's just gonna be hanging out at the base for now. I hope that's not an issue for some people because I know it's like kind of iconic. Like that that's the way I see it at least. Like it's a it's like one of the big tools of the game. Let's head on over. But real quick. I, I set this little thing up just to uh, have a consistent food of words eluding me. A consistent food source. It'll just grab things and I just swim on up. Wait, no, I wanted to eat that. Where'd you go? Where'd my food go? Whatever, I'll just... Yeah. There we go. And obviously, I have plenty of water. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay. Now, obviously, I can't take the sea glide all the way down there. But we'll see how close we can get. I hope I find tools soon that can destroy um, rocks and stuff. Or, like, the uh, big mineral things. Yeah. I think we want to go a little slow. Oh, somehow clicked off the game. This is kind of nerve-wracking. We're not, we're not even as deep as I've been. Biodiversity. 
diversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. Yeah, you're right. It's like dead. A chunk of wreckage as well. This area does feel wrong. Something did happen here. Okay. Engine powering down. I'm gonna go out and take a look. Right. <laughs> Gotta be on the second deck for that. All systems online. Oof. Startled me. <laughs> Let's take a look. Is that what I think it is? Ron. Yes, this is where we get the prawn suit. That's pretty cool. See what we've got inside. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick, just because I'm I'm still worried about that that error I had. Modification station, reinforced diving suit, extreme temperature protection. Okay. Yeah. Kind of lackluster in here. Hmm. Didn't really feel like it was worth it. Okay, we got the torpedo arm. Is my thing purple? Or is it just the lighting messing with me? I'm pretty sure I made it pink. Probably the lighting messing with me. Okay. What have we got in here? Our suppression system for the Cyclops. Okay. Microscope non functional. Small sample flask. Sample analyzer. Obviously, it's all non functional, like, that's just how it is sometimes. Hmm. Okay. This whole area just makes me uncomfortable. I guarantee there is something evil here. I'm not looking forward to it.
I'm gonna wait for the light. Oh, wait. I forgot I had those. Habitat is directly below us. I really don't know how I feel about it. So I have to abandon the sea moth, of course. It's such a terrifying noise when I just hit something. What do you pick up? What did it pick up? There was definitely something it just picked up. Like, there's a good chance it's just one of the, like, stingray-looking dudes, but... I don't know. Okay. I think we're gonna go for it. We're gonna check out the habitat. Oh. There's something down here. I'll check it out real quick. Seek fluid intake. I will. Engine powering down. Vital signs stabilizing. Let's store some of this stuff. Okay. That'll do. Vehicle upgrade console. Build on the moon will upgrade docked vehicles. Oh, I already have it. This is an abyss, and I do not like it. It is way too dark down there. That thing's 368 meters away. No, I mean, I could maybe make it. There's still, there's still mantis parts I can check out. Wait. Let's check the cameras. Like there's something bashing us, right? Or is it just a little fish? Uh, that is an unsettling image. Engine powering down. Okay. I'm gonna save. And we're uh, gonna go check that out. Oh, Ruby, we needed that. Oh, a lot of Ruby here, actually. Just another torpedo arm. A gel sack. Uh, 
bag. I don't really need any more torpedo arms. Power cell charger, I do need that. Or never mind. Lithium. Hmm. All right, I think the just like I do need because I need to make aerogel. Definitely do not want to go in there. Quartz, don't really need that right now. Diamond. Yay. Money. Kind of scared that this is the actual, like, the one time I genuinely needed the, uh, flashlight. Special, just some gel sacks. Yeah, those things are pretty aggressive. Like, for no good reason, too. Lithium. Diamond. Ruby. More arrow gel. Well, uh, gel sacks. Uh, what can I drop? Uh, titanium. Alright, I should head back, dump this stuff, and maybe go for another run. Looks like a squid over there. Left behind. Keep calm, poster. <gasps> that was unexpected. I guess there are little friends down here. Okay. Something really is just bashing against the hole. But I can't... Like, is it just the little guys? Hard to tell. I think it is. Nonetheless, let's get out of here. It's kind of scary how big this ocean is. Like, I never... I personally don't have too much... I don't have too many fears in general. I'm more so just get... This thing really hates little fish. <laughs> but, um... Like, I don't have too many fears when it comes to, like... 
playing like horror games and whatnot, like I'll I'll get startled because that's a normal human reaction when some like guy like gets grabbed by something unexpectedly. Like yeah, everyone kind of goes like oh no. But um, this is like one of the first times like where I'm kind of unsettled. Like it does feel off for me. <laughs> Okay. I think I'm gonna wrap this up Welcome aboard with, uh, where's my habitation tool? Oh, I was carrying it the whole time. Oh, I guess I should get the materials I grabbed. Take this disinfected water and just drink it. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, that should do. So I still had the. Wait, is there a chance that I accidentally consumed the things? Okay, no. Good. I was worried I ate the gel sacks because you can eat them. filtration system, copper wire, and aerogel. I guess I'll set it up here. Okay. Copper wire, I should have that. And if not, I can just make some. Oh yeah, what do I need for the synth or the reinforced suit? Two diamonds, two titanium, and synthetic fibers. Do I know how to make those? Hmm. Well, I can make aerogel, and I'm gonna make a ton of that. <laughs> yeah, actually, I shouldn't make too much. Just a bit. And there's the copper wire. Okay. Okay. I see. It makes water and salt. It's gonna be a little slow though. Wanna make another? I can. I can just have a shit ton of water. And it doesn't seem like a bad deal. And I should have the copper for it too, so that's good. Um, uh, Might be short a bit actually. It won't be an issue though. Copper's common. And that will help keep me alive. Anyways. I know this episode was a little shorter, but I have noticed that, like, I do, I do kind of fail to stop myself. Oh my god, we are draining power so fast. These things drain like crazy. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to find out ulterior power mode, uh, power modes. Thank goodness I didn't. Power <laughs> didn't suffocate in my sleep. <laughs> oh yeah, we're definitely going to uh, need more power. Okay, I'll do the smart thing though. I'll just deconstruct one of them. That should help cut back on that. Hmm. A bioreactor seems like something that would be annoying to maintain. Because that one you definitely have to, like, constantly work with. Anyways, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. If you like what I'm doing, feel free to 
like or comment. Up to you. Your choice. But, um... Again, I know it was shorter. But, uh, thank you for stopping by. Take care.